Well, this afternoon, now that uh, Thanksgiving is over, it's right on to Christmas. So we hope that everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. My kids were all home, so it was a, a great time. And now we're thinking about some of the different treats that we're going to make for Christmas. Um, one of the ones that I, I make for many of my customers when I put Christmas trays together are holiday pretzel rings. And it's a, a really easy snack, dessert. I use a lot of them to actually give for little gift um, plates or little tins, which I'll show you. And I'm just going to demonstrate today how we're going to make these holiday pretzel rings and hope that you enjoy it and um, you can, can try it. If you have either you know, young kids or grandkids, they'll also enjoy making these with you. And um, I look forward to that day myself. So I actually use big bags. It's Old Dutch Holiday Pretzels. There's um, one other brand, which I can't think of the name, that also has them out this year. But I go through bags and bags of candies, as you can see. So I do go through a lot of pretzels. Line your tray. You don't have to put a parchment or anything on your, tra your tray. Just put the, the, uh, the pretzel rounds on your tray and then pick your favorite Hershey Kisses. Um, I have various ones. These are the peppermint. Uh, these are mint truffles, dark chocolate, and I also have just the regular milk chocolate. And I find that these peppermint ones seem to melt the best when you're putting them in the oven to melt. So we'll see how this turns out. But you just line your tray with the pretzels and then put a Hershey Kiss in each of your pretzels. I have my oven preheated to 230 and sometimes I've actually have baked them hotter than that. Obviously the hotter you bake them the faster they're going to melt for you. Um, it gets kind of frustrating sometimes though because the, the various kisses seem to melt a little bit different and the peppermint ones I think melt the best. The, um, I just made some today with using the dark chocolate and at 225 degrees I think it actually took about seven minutes before they were melted um, the way I, I wanted them. So we're going to just finish off these. If you get all of your supplies done like Take the, the uh, wrappers off of your kisses first and you have those all set to go. Then that helps the whole process of getting them done faster. Some of the, the pretzels are really odd shapes so I like to try to get them as round as I can. So I've got these all set to go and I really usually fill up the tray so my trays will usually be completely full. You do want to have enough room though so that when you are done when they're and you're ready to take them off of your tray you have to get your spatula underneath so um, you want to be careful that you don't break your cookies. So I'm going to put these in and just put my timer on for starting for three minutes. Oven on at 325 and then we're going to um, have them melt and you can always uh, melt them a little bit longer if you don't think that they're they're quite right. What, what I've noticed with the dark chocolate ones that I made today is if you have to push the M&M in you know harder um, then they're not quite melted enough so you should be, be able to just put the M&M on top of your kiss and then it should be melted um, to that amount. Okay, these are definitely melted. These are, are definitely melted just right. I'm gonna put this on. And I like to get the M's so that they're up. And what I do is the little tips are going to be, hopefully if they stay in the middle and try to start the M&M 
on that little tip and then just kind of push it in. And you want to make sure that the whole round is covered. Um, like I said with the dark chocolate ones, they don't always work quite right. And if the, the whole round isn't covered, your piece of uh, candy can end up actually falling out. But I literally make dozens of these. One of these bags has 60, I think it's 60 kisses in there. And so I'll make just a, you know, a couple of the, of the Hershey, the, the spearmint ones are one of my favorites. So we'll make a lot of, of the spearmint or peppermint ones. We make a lot of the peppermint ones. And then they look really pretty when you add in the other colors. And when I do the, my, trays that people will order. And please check out my website. That one is a real mess. So we're just going to add a green one. So we'll have a red and a green one on that. And so check out my website and you'll see some my menus. And I do a, a variety of Christmas holiday. I have a holiday menu on there. And there's a variety of, of the cookies and fudge that people really like. Um, they need Christmas pies. There's a variety of pies, cheesecakes. If you're looking for just like a little gift for either your employees or um, if you do a little name exchange maybe at work or something, I have little six inch cheesecakes that I make and they're boxed and look really pretty with little gold of the, the stretchy ribbon on the outside. And it just makes a nice little gift that you can give um, along with different um, trays that I, I put cello and ribbon on them and they're just a, a nice gift basket, you know, too. Uh, either in a basket or in a tray. Uh, you can do a gift basket with scones or a, a cake, a breakfast cake and do like a breakfast basket. Um, so there's just a lot of different things that I could do to help you out with your, your Christmas shopping. Um, so we have these done now and the next thing is you want to put them in a, a really cold place. So whether it's on your back porch or if you have a, uh, a non-heated garage or in your refrigerator. So I'm just going to stick these in the refrigerator and then bring out my pan, which I made earlier, as I said, and we're going to take those off. So I usually use, you know, one of, of two of these uh, uh, spatulas. And this one I, I usually like to use. As you can see on this um, cookie it, or piece of candy, it didn't go completely around or in, on the inside of the pretzel. There's a couple other ones there too. So we'll see how, how easily they come off. And you have to be careful that you don't get them too cold. I had some sitting all day yesterday when I was at work and by the time I started taking them off I broke several and um, it's a nice snack if you want to eat but otherwise if you don't want to have to redo a lot of your cookies then not having them you know sitting out too long and I actually made these you know, about two hours ago and they were, were sitting in a really cold place and there's one that broke like that so we're just going to add these to my little tin here of the ones I'd already made and what I'll often do is have separate tins so then when you want to have a, a variety you can then fill in. But again, it makes a nice little holiday gift or even if you're taking something to a, a friend's house maybe and you want to have a, a little something to share or if you have want to take something and they have kids and you want you know to give the, the kids something special. It's just a fun little uh, holiday cookie that, that everybody really likes. Unless you don't like chocolate, then that could be a real downside. But the, the salty of the pretzel and the sweetness and chocolatiness of the, the M&M and kisses, I think it makes a great combination. And I have another little tin that is already all set to give with, with the little red and white ones and with the Candy canes on the outside looks kind of cute. And then I have a Santa tin, and these are just all with the, the dark chocolate in there. So we'll mix those up and have several gifts ready to give. 
So I hope you enjoyed this segment of A Slice of Heaven, and hopefully this will give you a little start with your holiday baking. And like I said, please check out my website so I can also help you if you maybe you don't like to bake or you don't have time to bake, you're busy just with all of the other um, arrangements that you have to do and getting ready for such a big holiday and uh, Christmas. So from A Slice of Heaven, happy baking.